Beware! This terrifying six-foot animated jack-in-the-box has his sights set on you. It's always moving and watching, too. Its gruesome giant head and bulging eyes will have everyone's stomach in knots. Indoors or out, it vexes all with eerie sounds and startling lights. This Jack even utters six unnerving phrases just for spite. Let's put a smile on that face of yours! <laughs> Plus, grimy nails and tattered clothing ensure dreadful dreams for many a night. This six-foot animated jack-in-the-box conjures the deepest fright. Hey, what's up, YouTube? So Home Depot has just released their animatronics, and that was the jack-in-the-box. And one that has been catching my eye from the beginning is the jack-in-the-box. Ever since I seen this animatronic, I knew I just had to get him, so what I did was I ordered him, so he should be here in a week or two. And when he arrives, I will do an unboxing video on him, so if you guys want to see that, go ahead and subscribe. Everything about him I like. I like his colors, I like his box, I like that his eyes glow, and I like his voice. His voice is very creepy and all of it just works so well together. Everything looks great on him. One thing that I would change would be the lid behind him of the box. It's white and it's the same picture as the one in the front. As you can see, I would make the lid of the box black so that way it adds more to the illusion so it doesn't show the pole that is holding him up. Instead, it will show the blue swirly thing that is his spring so it looks like he's springing up and down. That's the only thing that I would change. As you can see, on the inside of the box, it's black so I don't know why they didn't make the lid of the box black as well but other than that he looks really great he looks very creepy and scary definitely wouldn't want to miss out on getting this guy he is six feet tall and he is two hundred dollars so he is a lot cheaper than some spirit halloween animatronics and for that price you're getting a lot of detail and a lot of creepiness out of him also one thing i want to talk about is how he reminds me of the clown and the jack-in-the-box in harry potter and the prisoner of azkaban he really reminds me of that clown or jack-in-the-box from the movie because because he, it's just all his arms and his upper body. In the movie, the clown is springing forward and trying to reach at Harry. Ever since I seen that clip, it always creeped me out and kind of scared me as a kid. And that's what kind of vibe I'm getting from this Jack in the Box. He looks very creepy just like that. Except he doesn't move forward and backwards. Instead, he moves side to side. Imagine if they did make him reach forward and backwards. That would probably make him look a lot more scary. As if he's going to reach for you and grab you. And that's about it. That's all I wanted to talk about was the Jack in the Box. I ordered him and he will be in the mail. So if you guys want to see the unboxing video, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the like button, go ahead and comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Thou shall never underestimate Lord Wilton.